I saw myself as the weakest person God ever created. I got called nigger every day of my life growing up, um, living in a small town. The, uh, one of the high ups in the KKK son sat behind me in two classes, so he called me nigger all the time. I got my first car, they spray painted nigger, we're gonna kill you on it. And I was weighing like 297 pounds. So I was just an insecure, scared kid. But the best thing that happened to me, no one helped me. I wasn't gonna be a punk kid all my life. So the only way I could turn it around was to suffer. I had to build calluses in my brain the same way I built calluses on my hands. So I broke the Ginsburg Royals record for pulps a long time ago, but I failed at it twice. And I did 67,000 pull-ups <laughs> in trying to break this record. So to do 4,030 pull-ups, I had to do 67,000 for training for that. Wow. And so what I realized is for me to become the man I wanted to become, I saw myself as the weakest person God ever created. But I never blamed God for anything he did to me. So I wanted to change that to be the hardest man ever created. Am I that? I don't know, but you had to have a goal. And my goal when I was sitting there, not going to school, being bullied, being, having no self-esteem, my goal was the only person that's going to turn this person around is me. I was so driven, and I'm not, not going to say motivated because motivation is crap. Motivation comes and goes. When you're driven, whatever's in front of you will get destroyed. We live in an external world. Everything is, is you got to see it, touch it, it's, it's, it's external. If you can for the rest of your life live inside of yourself, stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual, nigger, everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you got to flush it out. You got to just be whoever the hell God or whatever the hell you believe in. If you believe in nothing but yourself, I don't care what it is. You got to take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. And, and I'm not saying don't believe in God or what you believe in, but right now for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not going to find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. How? That's the question. How are you going to do that? Dick in your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror. Because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, on the other side is greatness. That's what people understand. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble and you're good for nobody. In times of suffering, what we do is we forget how hard we really are. Because that's what suffering is. Suffering is a test. That's all it is. Suffering is the true test of life. The beauty is remembering this young, dumb, what people call nigger, is now where I'm at today. And that is, when you finally get to that point for me, it's forever lasting peace. Greatness isn't running 200 miles at a time or doing 4,000 pumps or being a seal. Greatness is whatever the hell you dreamed of in your own mind. You gotta first see it. You gotta first create this vision in your mind. And then that's when I come into play. Once you create this vision in your mind, it's how am I gonna get there now? We're all, we, we are all great. No matter if, if you think you're dumb, no matter if you think you're fat, no matter if you are fat, no matter if you've been bullied, or no matter if you just got back from Iraq or Afghanistan and you have no legs or your arms or whatever, man, we all have greatness. It just, you gotta find the courage. You gotta find the courage to put your Bose headphones on and silence the noise out of this world and to find it. That sets you apart from everybody else. And, and that's what it's all about.